Well, happy Super Bowl Sunday, everybody. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I hope you tune into our live stream tonight. We'll be giving away the Roger Staubach, uh, Tom Landry uh, print that I made up actually on my CNC machine, as well as one of my butcher blocks and stuff. Uh, so definitely come on through. We're going to have some fun here tonight. We will uh, hopefully kind of have a good time. We've got a true watch party. My man, David Wiley, Chef David Wiley's up there making these pork shish kebabs that are like a slice of heaven. We're going to have some Jobu wings. We're going to have a, well, we have a couple of small subs that are big subs uh, down here as well. So we're going to definitely throw down. It'll be a cheat day for keto. But what I wanted to talk about was Micah Parsons. I don't know that the Dallas Cowboys have had a player come out the box to have the power and platform that he does that he, right now. Right now, you see him literally everywhere. Between seeing him at NFL Honors and getting the Defensive Rookie of the Year unanimously, something nobody else has done, um, showing his son and, and basically working on the next generation of uh, of his to make sure that, like his father instilled in him, he's instilling in his son. But seeing him doing the talking shows network, seeing him constantly being talked to, you know, when, when he was drafted, he walked out on that stage and he said to Roger Goodell, this is what his father said, he said, are you ready? And he jumped into his arms. But... I don't know that the NFL was ready for Micah Parsons because Micah Parsons, I think when he talks, people will listen. And today he was talking about the pass, roughing the passer penalty and saying that it needs to be reviewable, which I wholeheartedly agree because, you know, the reality is you get a first down play for a team get a big play, and then they happen to get a bullshit call for unnecessary roughness and get another 15 yards on it. Those are literally game-changing plays. They make all the difference in the world. And I remember seeing in a playoff game during the game-winning drive for Tom Brady that he literally got hit like that. It didn't touch his face. Hand just went across his chest. Look, look, let, let, me, let me clarify. Hand came like that. The guy had an offensive lineman up under his arm, and he's trying to swat, okay? This is the only thing that he get. He got his hand like that, boom. On a third down, they get a first down, continue the drive, deep in their territory, continue the drive, go on to win and go on and win the Super Bowl. These are game-changing calls, but... They're not reviewable. In case in point, this was Thanksgiving Day game against the Raiders. And you want to talk about BS. I think Derek Carr should get an accident, should get an Oscar for this. Because if this wasn't acting, I don't know what is. But I have two problems with this one. Let's, let's watch this the play in real time. And it will for a long time is now, now, they got the first down. Okay, that's correct. They got the first down. The okay. First down on the third yard line. You see Derek Carr getting up. He's holding his Carter neck and his head. Oh, 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 I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Oh, I'm in pain. And he's shaking his head. So here's my first question. Don't we have spotters out there that are watching for concussion protocol? Isn't he acting dazed and confused? Shouldn't he be going off to the sideline for a play and going underneath the tent? I talked about this back when it happened. But, but you, you understand. Look, look, you saw him. You, you didn't see the hit. But you saw him. Oh, my neck. Oh, I'm shaking the cobweb. I'm shaking the cobwebs out. Ah, the cobweb. Oh, I'm so messed up. Then how come the referees aren't there making him? Go off for play. Let's watch a little more. Can't lose anybody else. You've already lost. Okay. Here it comes. Waller, Here it comes. Looks like today. He's scrambling. He's scrambling. Okay. Right there. He just threw the ball. Here's Micah Parsons right there. And you see his hand. Ooh. His hand. Love tapped him. Okay. His hand 
love tapped his helmet. He didn't drive through. He didn't lead with the shoulders. He didn't lead with the helmet. He could do that to me without a helmet on. And I don't look. It ain't going to hurt me. If Derek Carr was that fragile that that hit dazed him like that, then he shouldn't be playing football. That. Let, let, let's look at it again. Let's look at it again. Watch it again. Okay, and he's scrambling. Ooh. He let up. He didn't fall on the ground. And you see, they, they look, never look, look, look as again. Bad as Watch they, what Micah Parsons. Else, you've already lost. Micah Parsons literally. Waller, it looks like today. Gets there, and he. you see him. Look, watch from here. From here. Watch what Micah Parsons does. He doesn't continue forward. He ends up caving his body away from him. He literally let up. You got Tristan Hill on the other side there, you know. And, and of course, he's not. But, but watch. Look. You tur- look, you see how he turned his body? away from him and it wasn't a fist it was the palm of his hands and so you see oh 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 my head oh he hit me so hard Ah, ah." it's bullshit so they never look as bad as they are in the field i'll tell you just like some and then look you see him over here in the hub okay can get some of the worst ones we see a flag down. Look, look, okay. Now, here's the official over here. Now, if you're the official, if you thought he was, you know, doing all that, don't, don't you think that you're supposed to be? Did, did you check his eyes? Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Grambling. He's not. So, now back to this one, too. In fact, this whole play, the the more I look at it, the more it pisses me off. Because as I watch this, isn't he now a runner? Didn't he just, uh, 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 let's back up some more. Watch. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Isn't he now a runner? Grambling. He's not. Isn't he running the football still in now? The passing posture, Isn't he so running? You're pursuing I know him he threw he, it. as he starts to but fall. But he's running in the to pocket me, that's to escape. not an official blow to. The- and so that's where Micah is like, dudes, you got to make that reviewable. I don't think it's going to happen because when they tried to say, you know, after the pass interference uh, that destroyed the Saints season, they ended up making it reviewable. And I think of all the ones that were called, I think only one was ever overturned. So you can say it should be reviewable, but they're not going to review it. But it's it's really bullshit where, to the point where, come on, man. Uh, are we just going to make this flag football then? I honestly have played flag football and been hit harder than that and didn't get a flag. So Micah Parsons, he seems to have the NFL's ear. And – when you have the ear of people and people listen, you can affect change. That's not something anybody can just do. But when that guy starts talking, it's kind of like if you remember the E.F. Hutton commercials. When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. So we will see here, uh, guys here about 4 o'clock. I think we're going to start our, our live stream, maybe about 4.30. I, I've got the stream set up for 4 o'clock, but... You know, we'll start some coverage. Like I said, I got my man David Wiley who's upstairs doing some stuff. I'm finishing up down here, getting ready for the game and things. But I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I will see you at game time. Just remember, when you get in,